Hi, this is Professor Arujo Moreno with an overview of Module 2. Module 2 focuses on uh, Chapter 3. When you go into the Blackboard course, you'll see the Module to-do list uh, along with this video. It's very important to make sure, again, you're doing things step by step. Just because it's one chapter doesn't mean you should wait. There's a lot to this chapter, which is why I've broken it up and put it into its own unit. It's very important to understand that you're gonna be learning how to analyze transactions and do accounting in this chapter. This takes a lot of time and practice. And so it's best to schedule a little bit of time every day to work on this. Step one is to relearning objective one. This is where they introduce you to transactions um, that uh, are very common, in fact, and you'll see these over again. So you will refer to these events uh, time and again. Uh, again, it's very, very important to understand how these transactions are happening and what accounts are affected. After learning objective one, again, that's a critical note. You need to know how to analyze these transactions before moving forward. Learning objective two is looking at an account. An account has two sides, and a debit side and a credit side. Uh, just like a coin has two sides, <laughs> uh, heads or tails. So uh, one side of the account we call the debit side, it's simply the left side of an account. It's like if you flip a coin and it lands on heads, that would be the debit side, right? Um, the other side of the account, the right side, we call the credit side. So if you flip a coin and it lands on tails, well, that would we would look at it as the credit side. So again, uh, for the coin, you're either going to have heads or tails. With accounting, with an account, you're either going to have a debit side and a credit side. That's it. There's only two sides to an account. But again, this takes a lot to get used to because you need to learn new terms. Debit and credit are different than what you learned from your bank or what you how we generally use the terms in society. We're learning accounting here. We're not learning banking. And so it's very important to spend a little bit of time understanding this. And again, another critical note, be sure you understand how to do debit and credit analysis before you move forward. Okay. Uh, learning objective three is actually when we're going to start doing accounting. We actually do accounting in the in the journal. So you're going to be learning about journal entries. <clears throat> From the journal, accounting, uh, that information gets posted to the general ledger. So you're going to learn about that process in objective four. And to make sure the ledger is balanced, we do something called a trial balance. Uh, and that wraps up all of chapter three. Now, I want you to notice, too, that there's an end of chapter three summary, because everything in chapter three is important, and it will be on the exam. When you look at your uh, costs uh, in Wiley, you'll see that the module two is set up. It should be in the order that you see on the module two do list, but follow the module two do list as it says here. Right? Um, and again, there are, there are videos and tutorials uh, that are important to watch because they teach you what I would normally be reviewing with you in a classroom, but because this is online, we have to kind of, you know, do our best with these other options. So these are step-by-step -step tutorials uh, that I've put here, very important to watch. These slideshows are interactive. So there's there are gonna be times where they're, they're gonna ask you to put information in just to test your understanding. So please follow the to-do list. I've been doing this for over 25 years and I'm pretty decent at it. So I'm really here to try to help you and structure the course accordingly. So again, follow the module to-do list, do all the steps in the order that I've provided. And again, if you have any questions, you are very, very free, of course, to send me an email or sign up for one of my office times. Um, in the meantime, I hope you're doing well and I will talk to you soon.